we've come here this afternoon to harvest this three sisters patch now it looks pretty wild because that's exactly what it is it's a beautiful mid-autumn afternoon and still nice and warm in the day the mornings are starting to get a little bit cooler but tomorrow rain is expected and from now on it's going to rain a lot more it's not going to dry out very quickly so really need to get things harvested here while it's dry now finding the beans is quite a task because being dry they hide and as you can see the wind has been in and knocked a lot of this corn down Having found as many beans as we can, it's now time to start picking the corn. And this is such beautiful corn, lovely, colourful, the mountain corn. The corn is much easier to find than the beans were, but there are some cobs that the rats have found before us. So there's a little bit of loss there. But there'll still be a reasonable amount. This one looks like it'll be a very dark one. Yeah, look at that. How oh, beautiful dark colour that is. Okay, we've harvested the corn and we've got a reasonable amount. It has a wide range of colours. Even though the outside might be dark, as this one was, it still can be a light coloured corn. Both of these, actually the dark one and the light one, had the same colour on the outside. So you just really can't tell. But it is really pretty. Yeah, yeah, I really, and I really like the red one. Yeah. That's very nice. The harvesting process though, really, well, how did you find the process of picking, particularly the beans? Uh, the beans were fiddly and maybe because every, we have planted it that the corn and the beans are in together and so the beans are a dry brown colour and it all mixes in. Yeah. So it was hard to spot, but the corn's a very fast quick pick. Yeah. I think it was made more difficult by the fact that the wind came in and, and yeah. knocked the corn over. So that meant that you had to look for the beans it was underneath. A bit, over, a bit overgrown. But also, you know, the dry, um, the dry corn leaves look the same basically as the beans, the beans yeah. and so finding them is not easy. Personally, I probably wouldn't do this again. I would grow them separate. I yeah. think that the yeah. beans would be so much easier to harvest growing on their own trellis. Uh, where you could just strip the beans without having to search through the corn like this. While growing the two together may enhance the corn a little bit in terms of nitrogen, I really don't think it's worthwhile because it's just so hard. I reckon we probably left half the beans there that have yes. fallen underneath that we couldn't find or I actually see rotted. one right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stuff that we've missed all over the place. So in terms of a bean harvest it's not so good the corn though because it's more obvious 
uh, I think we've done pretty well. The rats hadn't attacked too many. No, no, that was fine. So most of it is good. The pumpkins, however, are a real failure. They didn't germinate and grow well early on and there's very few pumpkins around. They're only small. A lot of them are not yet mature. But in terms of what we would normally produce in pumpkins, this has been a total failure. So next year, I don't think I'll be doing the combined three sisters. I'll be growing each one separately. Anyway, those now will need to dry these out a little bit because in the beans, there's some that are dry, there's some that are moist. The corn, there's some that are a little bit too moist. So we'll spread those out. Probably where I stored the pumpkins last year, I'll put them up there in the uh, woodshed where the sun comes in and it's warm. Let them dry for a few weeks before doing further work with them. Now I know we haven't done any videos for a while. I've been fairly busy on another major project uh, that's coming to completion uh, soon. So I might get back with some more videos uh, as time allows. Before I go, I thought you might be interested in a little update on this potato crop here in the clay. What really is interesting about this is that this is the first crop that's ever been grown in this soil. So if this is the first of my videos you've seen, you need to go back a couple and there's been a couple of videos about developing this area. The potatoes have grown reasonably well. Uh, there's some that you see have begun to die or have even died, but there's others that are still nice and green and look like they have a bit of growth in them, even though the season really is coming to an end. Now, in my past experience, the plants that have died already, which could be dug now, are the ones that are going to have the least uh, number of potatoes and probably the lowest uh, quality of potatoes in terms of size. These plants that are actually growing well and continuing longer are going to probably yield the best. I'm not going to dig these potatoes now, even though with these dying plants I could begin because I have still the earlier crop that I am digging and will be digging still for another two months or more. In terms of digging, it will not be until winter that I actually begin to do that. So June, July, August, somewhere there, I'll need to come in here and start digging. Now, there should be quite a lot of potatoes in here, probably more than I need. Uh, it should last us well up to the end of the year and probably allow us to share some with family and friends as well. Anyway, that's the video for today and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.